All right, so welcome back. Today we are diving into the metaverse and into gaming, especially some low cap games that I think you guys are not going to want to miss. We'll break down both sentiment data, a ton of insights around what these games are doing. And of course, before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors, which is Champions Ascension. This is a new game coming over from Jam City. If you haven't checked them out, this is a great, I think a great graphical view of a game that is going to be on the up and coming list very soon. You can, of course, join Champions Ascension. One of the things we are doing is we're doing a giveaway to join their Discord. And the way you'll be able to do this is really simple. What you'll do is in the link below on this video, you'll see a link. It's our Gleam link. All you have to do is join the Discord for Champions Ascension. Once you've joined the Discord, I want you to take a screenshot of that joining and then basically tweet that back to us at either Paul Barron TV or me, Paul Barron, on Twitter. Just give me a screenshot of that. We're going to be giving away three winners, $50 in Ethereum, coming right back to you. All I need you to do is DM me and just put Champion Ascension in your uh, DM. We'll know what that's all about. Make sure and do that. Of course, there's a lot of things that are happening with this game that are kind of cool. And some of the things, I want to take a look at the trailer because this is the um, a really cool trailer, I think, if you haven't seen you know, game footage and also just in general the game design behind what Champions Ascension is doing. Uh, this is a good one right here. Let's do a quick play on this one. I want to jump in on that. And let me expand that out for you guys so you kind of get a, a full view of this trailer, which is fantastic. I think it really tells the story of, and again, this is one of the first games for uh, Play to Earn from Jam City. Uh, very, very uh, well-renowned studio and a, a ton of talent in terms of the team. And I'll break that down in a minute. But you can kind of see just the overall graphics, I think, as this transitions into a Play to Earn game, we are going to see some pretty amazing stuff coming out of Jam City. All right, so you can kind of see some of the NFTs that Champions Ascension is really starting to play into. Some pretty amazing assets right here. They have some holder perks that are going to be revealed uh, very soon. And some of the things that they'll be doing is going to be, uh, of course, champion enhancements, which are prime eternal champions. They're going to be the only ones that come with you, these unique visuals, like what you're seeing here on screen. And then, of course, special user access to services and also content. So prime eternal champions, you'll have access passes to exclusive rewards and services. Uh, I think that is another big deal. And then they're going to do to uh, token loop drops. I like the fact that they're layering in a lot of different elements here, both on gameplay, the aspect of um, somewhat interactive NFTs, and then, of course, behind the scenes, you've got a great team and, of course, the studio of Jam, uh, Jam City. And when you look at their team, and I just want to kind of go through the founders real quick, Chris DeWolf, who is one of the co-founders and CEO uh, there at Jam City. He was formerly with MySpace uh, co-founder and then of course also 20th Century Fox with Josh. So this is one of those things that I really look at when I'm looking at projects and making a decision on whether or not we report on them, whether we start to follow them and really look at their data uh, in terms of their overall sentiment like what we track on the CPI. These are some of the things and the key things that we look at to really determine if a project is worthy. And I think this is one of those that definitely jumps into it. All right, so let's get into the show today. And today the topic is really looking at, there's three different projects here that we're gonna be breaking down. You'll recognize some of them, but the bigger picture here is to take a look at how quickly these projects have been able to perform in our CPI. Now the Crypto Power Index is a tool that we offer uh, here on the show occasionally. We'll show uh, and reveal materials and research our own data. Again, this is a market mover concept and the idea behind market movers are real simple. We're gonna give you data, we're gonna give you some sentiment analysis, but remember market mover and uh, kind of the overview of what we're delivering is not financial advice. This is of course something that you guys need to go out and do your own research on, especially when you get into these low cap games. And this is one that uh, I really like, and that is Citus Heroes. Citus Heroes is one of these, and if you look at the graphics here, and I think this is one that we continue to see more and more potential out of, especially in the aspect of where we see these games developing. And I think that's going to be a big factor on kind of the future of where some of these games are going. 
that is something, as I said, we, we always kind of look at the graphics, obviously the layer, the design of the game, the, ec the economy of the game, the team itself, and then what are they trying to do as an overall. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Citus, of course, they've, uh, this is their team and partners. This is another thing that we look for, and that is a fully doxed set of uh, team members, whether they're decentralized or they're, you know, maybe they've got history in gaming or you've got an expansive uh, history on business. That's some of the things that we do look for in the game itself. Another one that we, of course, have reported on, and that's Pegaxi. Of course, this is one of the top horse racing aspects of blockchain, and there, we've done an analysis video on this one as well in comparison to D-Race and also Zed Run. Pegaxi ended up, uh, in that particular analysis video, uh, being on top in terms of the overall sentiment, and you'll see why here in a second when we look at some of the charts. And also just look at some of the performance of these. Spintop is the other project that is an excellent one uh, that we, we've just started to see some movement on. Ultimate Game Fi Ecosystem, Discover, Play, Trade, Earn. And again, these early games that we start to look at, low cap gems, really give us an idea of one, are these games starting to break out? Do they have enough uh, ramp up in terms of their community? And do they have the potential to maybe become something even more special? When you look at where some of these are tracing right now, just in overall uh, transaction, you've got, of course, fully diluted right here at 741 million. This, of course, is Pegaxi. If you go to the seven day, you'll see the movement of Pegaxi. And of course, it stabilized from where it was trading back here in uh, late January. And where it has grown to, obviously this big spike right here, where we've seen a lot of movement on the metaverse, and then this stabilization right here on Pegaxi. So I anticipate we're going to see a little bit more moves on Pegaxi coming soon. The other one I want to take a look at, and then we'll jump into some CPI for you guys to show you some uh, other stuff. This is the seven day on spend top. So we've got data back here on February 3rd, when you could have being able to get this one at 16 cents. It immediately, of course, followed kind of the metaverse spike we've seen in the last 10 days and has continued to perform, had a little bit of a downslide and then immediately came right back uh, and has been somewhat stabilized right here at around 23 cents. So holding on right now for spin top. So this is one that I'm gonna be watching very closely. Could it be one of those that is really gonna maybe come back from its all time high? Back to that chart. If you look at where they were back here in early January, trading at almost 41 cents. So big, big move potential right here. This kind of movement right here is what we're watching for when projects can start to break out. But the bigger thing that I'm really interested in is how these communities are starting to respond to these games, because that typically means one pent up demand for gameplay and or pent up demand for potential investment. So those are the things that we're really kind of keeping an eye on closely. The other one, of course, Citus that we showed right here, um, also back here on the 3rd of, of uh, February, which we had reported on Citus uh, at that time, trading it at uh, really around 0 0.055, and then you move all up in here to what happened on February the 8th, uh, which is where it almost bumped up to eight cents a little over eight cents, and then now it's stabilized again. Again, I look back at the historical opportunity here, because look at where this was in early January, trading at 18 cents. So that's really a 3x opportunity that could be on the move right now as we start to see it come off the floor, and if we start to see these metaverse game projects really start to pump. That's the thing that we keep an eye on very closely um, of really understanding how these projects can, can move. And one of the tools that we, of course, use is our crypto power index. Now, the thing that we do within the power index, there's a couple of things that are pretty unique. One is the dashboard itself, which I'm showing you right now, will give you the overall sentiment on these different categories. So this is the 12-week 12, uh, 12 overall sentiment. Notice that we've seen this big uptick here on the week of uh, February 7th. Then you've got Bitcoin's movement almost following right in line with overall. Then you've got ETH, has a little bit of similarities, and then all coins uh, kind of break away from overall by a little bit. And then Metaverse really starts to show its power. And this is the thing with Metaverse and gaming that I'm more interested in, is with Metaverse and gaming, what we see in this is that though we will see slight drops, the likelihood is we're gonna see less and less impact on these projects in the future. So 
lots happening there. And then I want to jump over here to our low cap list. And just on the uh, the index, just so you guys know, we, we provide weekly updates on the altcoin, the metaverse list, our top 20 uh, blockchain. Overall, these are traditional high cap. And then our low cap, which is what we're talking about today. And this is where it breaks down. This is our top 10 right here. And of course, you saw our Good Games Guild. And the reason I want to talk to some more guild guild companies was to get an understanding of why these guilds are starting to really shine. Uh, Chain Guardians comes in number two, Chain Games, and then you see Citus Heroes, one we just talked about. And again, performing very solidly right here, both on sentiment and also on uh, amplification. Uh, this is uh, Peg Axie right here, also starting to perform very highly. And then Spin Top, which was overperforming on sentiment amplification. So again, this is where we break down a lot of the metaverse, play to earn gaming. We really dive into, as you've seen, our crypto power index where we rank games, we look at the performance in, in the community, all that kind of stuff. And you don't wanna miss that. If you're listening at the podcast right now, you've gotta jump over here to the YouTube channel. This is the place to catch all of that and so much more. All you have to do is search Paul Barron Network. You'll find us, it's really easy. And of course, if you wanna reach out to me direct, maybe you have a game or a project that you think should be here on the show, reach out to me on Twitter. It's at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath. 